What's up, America? You know what time it is. It's 12 o'clock. It's time for the most exhilarating, electrifying, entertaining cooking show out there right now with my good friend who needs no introduction. You know him. You love him. Shit. And we got a new intro today. Welcome to Lunch Break, presented by Rectech. We're here in the worldwide headquarters of Rectech at 4301 Evans Locks Road in beautiful Evans, Georgia. It is a hot, muggy, overcast day. It's middle August. Some kids are back at school. And uh, we're trying to give you something different today. So we're going to show you how to make a delicious barbecue fatty and i know chef john gets it too oh yeah People say you can't trust a, sh a skinny chef well i'm gonna go ahead and get a little fat today we're gonna make a fatty so usually uh john's the one rolling one up but not today we're gonna show you how to do that delicious pork fatty with some uh, uh salami some capicola some pepperoni wrapped in bacon it's gonna be delicious chef john how you doing today i'm doing great chef greg how are you doing my friend man other than the most massive kink in my neck and <laughs> headache I'm living the rec tech dream. I'm living the rec tech life. What do you got here. a kink in the neck for, I man? Think, I think Julie beat me up last night. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I was probably snoring a little loud in bed, you know, sleeping like a fat kid. And uh, I don't know. I think she kind of just gave me the, you know, like a little ninja, you know, a little elbow in the back of the neck. Does she know. do that from time to time? Well, if I'm snoring, uh, you know, I can't, I can't blame her. <laughs> you know. So, Chef Greg, why don't you tell us what exactly what a fatty is? Because I see you got a lot of different kind of meats out there. Huge, yeah. So a fatty can be honestly anything you want. So we've made them meatloaf fatties, we've made cheeseburger fatties, we've made Tex-Mex fatties. It's really whatever you want to do. If you want to wrap it up in, in ground beef or sausage or a combination of the like, it's just uh, however you want to live your Rectech lifestyle. I mean, you know, maybe want to put some herbage in the middle of that. Mm -hmm. Again, however you want to live that Rectech lifestyle. Um, I love them because they're delicious. You know, it's a great keto-friendly recipe. So again, we can uh, make this really, really delicious. But if you guys want to see my take on the ultimate Italian fatty. We're talking about the sausage, not me, people. Go ahead and smash that share button. And uh, while you're at it, go ahead, and if you're watching on YouTube, go ahead and smash that subscribe button in the bottom uh, corner over there. We would love to deliver some delicious content into your inbox. Absolutely. So, Chef John, any good questions out there? They're just starting to roll in now. They heard you say fatties, and they are getting excited, Chef Greg. I mean, who doesn't like a delicious fatty cooked on the RT700? Just saying. So to make the process really, really, really simple, get you a gallon Zip Talk bag. Now, I like Italian sausage, okay? You can use pork sausage, Italian sausage, hot sausage, sweet sausage. I feel like it's the, uh, the, the, the bubba of sausage, okay? <laughs> and, uh, you know, maybe you make your own sausage. That's cool. I mean, again, however you want to live the rec tech lifestyle. So I'm just going to go ahead and, like, give this sausage a slam into this bag here. Okay, and do you know guys, I don't like a big mess, so the zip top bag is really going to make this easy. It's also how we make uh, sliders. We've seen that before. I don't think I have a tra no trash bag. It's okay. All right, so now I'm going to take that sauce and just kind of mash it up. Get all the air out of the bottom of the bag, and then just take my hands and give it a smush. And then when you get kind of close to the top, you can kind of seal it about two-thirds. And then all you're looking to do is get this sausage really even thickness across the bag. And go about not quite an inch from the top. And that's it, just like that. Now you have a really even sausage patty. Now if you're doing sliders, you can just kind of ridge it with your hands and uh, freeze it, break those into chunks, and boom, you got some delicious hamburger sliders. But we're not making sliders today. We're no. making barbecue fatty. That's right. So you guys, go ahead and smash that share button. Comment down below where you're cooking from, what you got delicious for lunch today. Because I think Chef John and I, I love you, but we might got you beat. Uh, so. We got them beat. No doubt we got them beat. And it's been busy around here, John. It's uh, day six of filming. We're doing another think what 12 recipe videos today i mean it's busy tuesdays and thursdays are jam 
packed. I might be covered in flour. Uh, we had some sourdough going, fresh yeast rolls. I know Chef John threw down some delicious cornbread. Jody was making some amazing, yes. amazing smoked buttermilk biscuits. You heard that right? Smoked buttermilk biscuits. All right, so on to the next. All right, Chef John, what you got, buddy? I got a quick question from top fan Chris Dewey. He says, Chef Greg, my girlfriend is afraid uh, fatties will be too greasy on the inside. What can we do to make sure a filling is less greasy, like mac and cheese? So it's not going to be greasy as you would think, right? The biggest thing is you want to combine whatever you like, first of all. So maybe you want to go a little bit leaner. You can use turkey sausage. Again, great uh, counterpart to that. But you don't have to put a bunch of fatty stuff on the inside. You could do grilled vegetables, roasted vegetables. You know, you could go um, all sorts of delicious stuff. Maybe a nice lean ham instead of, like, the fattier cuts that we got. Mm, but, again, however that you guys want to live that, that, that lifestyle. Good. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my knife, and I'm just going to cut down either side of the bag here. And it's really helpful after this step. Go ahead and put this back in the fridge for a couple minutes, and that way it kind of firms up. Okay, so I'm just going to roll this over. Take this to my plastic wrap and just slam it down. Okay? And now I've got my delicious pork sausage. That looks great, Chef Greg. Yeah, man. So we're going to go ahead and add about a pound of cheese because a half pound's not enough. So I want a whole pound. None but you guys. This is called a fatty for a reason, but you don't have to go all out. No, no, you really do. Like, <laughs> so we'll add some delicious provolone cheese. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna move that over just a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna add that whole pack of provolone cheese. Mmm. Do it, Chef Greg. I mean, is there any other way? No. Chef Greg, top fan Mark Smith said he's got a boneless chicken stuffed with crawfish etouffee. Woo, child, please. You bring that stuff over here and let us slam that down. Now, you did know we made that delicious Creole shrimp last week. Good stuff. Put that, that on there. That was so good. And we did win fifth place in the duel at the shed. There were over almost 200 professional cooks teams in there. We did a boudin and crawfish stuffed turkey. What? Wrapped in prosciutto that was smoked on an RT700. We took fifth place and like, I don't know, $1,000 home. It was a good day. Good day. Man, that sounds so good, Chef. All right, Chef, we've got a couple questions for you. Top fan Jeff asks, is it okay to use shredded cheese or does it need to be sliced? I like the slice because it stays in place. But you can, again, live your Rectech lifestyle however you want. We've got some really good uh, Capicola here. Top fan Bob uh, Thayer asks, uh, what is the best Salami. cheese to use, Chef? You want to get the melty, melty, goopy, goopy cheese. So, like, Gouda is really good because it's better. <laughs> There's your not dad joke of the week there. Um, anything it. melty. So, provolone, mozzarella, Gouda's good, Havarti's good. We got some pepperoni. You know, make sure your cold cuts are nice and evenly sliced. You know, but you can add anything in here. Blank canvas. However you want to live your Rectech lifestyle. So, Chef, you could put crawfish and boudin in that fatty if you wanted to? Shoot, yeah. Why not? I mean, if I had some good boudin, we absolutely could. Yeah, if guys, you guys if you want to send us That's what I was stuff, about to say. If y'all want to. Cheese. Yeah. Every Monday on Instagram, kind of depends. could be 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock. We do Mail Day Monday with uh, Jody, the Rectech rolls expert. That's right. You could mail us anything. It doesn't matter what it is, okay? Just send it here, 4301 Evans Locks Road, Evans, Georgia, 30809. And uh, you can ice the guy if you want. Maybe you got some baseball cards laying around, some golf balls. Yeah. Maybe you want to send us some libations. Yeah. We'd love to open it. If you've got a product, if your business has something you want us to feature, just send it to us. You know, we'll give you an honest review, and uh, we'll let you know how it goes. And hopefully it's delicious. So go ahead and send us some boudin. Chef John, what you got, buddy? All right, Chef Greg, we have 731 people tuned in now. 731, I like it. Let's so get that to 1462. Just everybody out there. That's what I'm talking that about. Button. Is there any way that you could recap for us real quick? All right, so we make the most amazing, delicious pork fatty. I've got a couple pounds of Italian, uh, sorry, of pork sausage. We've smushed flat in a zip-top bag, so it kind of looks like this. 
okay? Nice and even, get it good and cold in the fridge. We've taken a pound of delicious smoked provolone cheese. We've added some capicola, some salami, some pepperoni, about a pound of mozzarella over the top. And now we're just gonna roll it up. Okay, so I've got my plastic wrap, but I'm gonna use it as kind of like a guide. And we're just going to roll it up, and as they say in the industry, kind of torque it over a little bit. Torque, not twerk. Okay? <laughs> and we're going to give us a delicious pork fatty. So now I'm just going to go ahead and just grab the sides of this and kind of smush it, close it, seal it, so we don't get any uh, judge out the side. Okay. And if you're new to watching us, if you're new to the Rectech family, congratulations and thank you. Judge is my word for for leakage, drippy, delicious. It's a word I made up. I don't know how to spell it. <laughs> Sometimes I speak my own language. But the good thing for you is it's delicious. So we've got our little chubbo sausage. Okay. Now I like to put this back in the fridge and let everything kind of firm up and get happy. But this is only a 45-minute show. So we don't always have... Okay, Chef, I got a question from Terry Bess. Yep. Terry asked, what the heck is boudin? Oh, man. All my Cajun Creole folks out there, everybody from Louisiana, 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 go ahead and share with Terry what boudin is. But I'm going to do it now. You take some delicious cooked pork. You've got some rice. You've got some spices. You kind of grind it all together, and then you simmer it, and then you grind it, and then you pack it in some delicious casings. So it is the de most delicious parts of Louisiana, cased in sausage form. It's amazing. It's a staple. You can find it in every gas station, every mm -hmm. mom and pop shop. Mm -hmm. It's everywhere in Louisiana. So it's good. Good stuff. It's so good delicious. Stuff. But Chef John, this isn't like. It's not enough. Right. We're gonna wrap yeah. that down. Yeah. They were asking about the bacon weave? Question mark. Question mark. Well, you know what? We have the Rectech Grills expert. Okay. He meticulously prepared the bacon weave. Now, what I like to do is take that bacon weave, and I will go ahead and take a rolling pin and get it good and flat. And that way, all of the creases and stuff are sealed together, nice and neat, okay? And I'm gonna come over here and we're gonna grab some of that Rasa Ruski's honey rib rub. And we're gonna season the top of this thing because I don't know where you get your bacon from. Mine's not seasoned. That's the truth right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with a little bit of that Rasa Ruski's honey rib rub. Okay. Yep, still shaking. Even coverage. Then we're going to take that fatty. Okay, and we're going to locate our seam and make sure the seam of that fatty is right in the middle so that we don't want to have the seam of the bacon and the seam of the fatty at the same place. So we're going to take this, boom, just like that. Now we're going to grab our plastic wrap and we're going to cover this just oh, like man. that. Okay. Looky, looky, looky. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, shoot, yeah. I don't know how you live your Rectech lifestyle, but that's how I like to live mine. Just like that. That was so easy, Chef Greg. Well, I mean, you know, cooking is easy. <laughs> so I've got a uh, grill mat here. Now, this is one that we cut down. And again, if your grill mats are old, and they start to crack after about a year or so, you can grab some sharp scissors and they don't go bad. So I'm gonna grab this delicious, amazing, bacon woven barbecue fatty and put it on that grill mat. And then I'm just gonna take this bacon, kind of smush on the sides if I need. We're gonna grab a little more of that honey rib rub. And we're yeah, just gonna boy. Season, season, season till it's happy, happy, happy. And that's it. It is that simple. I mean, now I like to put this in the fridge for a couple hours, let everything kind of firm up, tack up, just get mo extra delicious. That's it. There is your delicious Italian stuffed. Yeah, yeah boy. Bacon wrap, mozzarella, provolone, capicola, Genoa salami, and pepperoni stuffed barbecue fatty. I mean, Look at this, look at the size of this thing. 
Man. It's delicious. I know. Chef John, what are they saying? Looks out like there? he could feed an army. No, just a chef. Oh, they're loving it. Just 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 me and John. That's <laughs> it. Um just make sure you don't have a cholesterol check or a cardiologist appointment like a week after eating this. Um, but I love doing this. And you can easily stuff this with your favorite toppings. I'm talking taco meat filling, some chilled ground beef. Maybe you want to, you know, put some boudin in there and some crawfish. Why not? As Matacasa would say, c'est bon, c'est bon. C'est bon, c'est bon. Or Les Burl out there, one of our academy graduates, he was on my team. It was uh, Team Gross Tete. Okay, that's something Tete. about Team Big Head. So shout out <laughs> Les Burl in Louisiana. He knows something about boudin. So hopefully Les is, if he's not messing around with his driveway anymore, maybe he can kind of chime in and share with us the best place to get the most authentic boudin. Chef John, what you got, buddy? All right, will you go over what pellets we're using in time and temp? All right, so we've got the RT700. We kind of cranked it up a little bit because I wanted to crisp this up. But normally, it's about 90 minutes at 325. We're burning the Rectech Ultimate Blend Pellets. We're a combination of red oak, white oak, and hickory. Great flavor, great smell, great aroma. It's a little hot out here. Mm. But this is pork sausage, so anything over 155 degrees, this is going to be good to go. What you don't want to do is uh, is undercook this okay so you want to make sure again it's right about 155 on that sausage and I think somebody lost their phone I'm gonna blame Matt Acosta he's always losing his phone yeah it's beeping out here somewhere <coughs> yeah got he that did it's right over here Matt on his, uh, on his thing but I'm gonna go ahead and give this a check <laughs> oh my looky, goodness looky, looky we're gonna put his little brother right next to it but look at that fatty right there okay that bacon starting to crisp up Man, that looks so good, Chef. Guys, y'all need to show Chef some love. I we're need to see some hearts. About 149 degrees. I need to see some wows. So we're going to wait a second because it's almost ready. We've had it on there for right about, let me check, almost 90 minutes. Okay, so again, 90 minutes, that should be done. You want to probe right around 155 degrees. And then normally you're going to let this rest for just a little bit. But you know we're impatient, so we're going to let it kind of judge everywhere. And that's the way we want to live our Rectech lifestyle. So, Chef John, what are they saying out there, buddy? Man, they are out here, and they are absolutely loving it. They had a couple questions, though, Chef. They wanted to know, how do you keep your grill mats clean? What do you do to clean your grill mats? All right, so I have three kids, and they are really good dishwashers. And if they don't get all the judge off of there, they get <laughs> yelled at. No, I'm just kidding. So those are non-stick coated uh, grill mats. Really simple. I wash mine in the sink with some Dawn. So after I'm done cooking, I'll fill the sink up with some hot water or a couple squirts of Dawn. Let them soak, you know, half hour while I'm eating. And then I just kind of hit it with a, a blue scrubby sponge and they come right off. You can put them in the, in the dishwasher as well. They will break down a little bit faster in the, in the dishwasher. Again, it's a more abrasive environment, but they will last you a long time. I had some for about a year and a half until we moved. And then Julie went to fold it in half to put it in a box and it just cracked. But then I had two pieces that were perfect for going under racks or ribs or pork butts. So, Woo. Chef John, I feel like you behind the camera over here. I know, you, you perspiring get little, get over little, there. You uh, perspiring. Little glisten. All right, if you were going to do a breakfast fatty and a uh, dessert fatty, how would those go? All right, breakfast fatty, I'm going to put some bacon crisps on the inside. I might put a couple hard-boiled eggs. Maybe I got some spare pancakes. You could, you know, put some pancakes around there. Maybe do like a uh, an inverted uh, pig in a blanket. So you got like the pancake around the sausage wrapped around more stuff. But you can almost do like a gigantic scotch egg, which would be that egg inside Ooh, of the that bacon. Sounds good. You could also put some potatoes in there. Would would that would definitely not suck. Um, and then wrapping in bacon, full circle. Now with dessert fatty, it's almost going to be like a Yule log in the sense. You could make like your favorite brownie mixture. And I would probably do this reverse style. And Chef John kind of showed you this the other uh, last week on Late Night Munchies when he did the delicious stuffed churros. That's right. If you've not seen that one after Man, that this, was so good. go ahead and jump over to uh, Instagram last week. Watch that IGTV where Chef yeah. John goes ham on those churros. But you can grab like a brownie mix, bake it off till it's like semi-cooked, mm. and then make sure you got a piece of parchment paper underneath, and then let it cool just a little bit. Maybe hit it with some raspberry jam, some fluff, yeah. some candied nuts, some marshmallows. Yeah. Roll that up and then slice it so you've got your delicious, almost like a Yule log. And Chef John did that with some delicious puff pastry. And uh, it he was didn't save any for us the next day. No, it was, there was you, none Chef to save. John. It was so, so good. All right, so Jeffrey Bowman has a question. He wants to know, can you cook a turkey on the RT340? Is there enough room? 
Absolutely. So if you're going to cook a turkey, you know, 14 to 16 pounds or so, you can fit that in there whole. Any bigger than about 16 pounds, you're going to want to spatchcock that bird, which, again, is going to be our favorite way to do that. You're going to cut that backbone out. You're going to lay it open. And we've got some great YouTube videos of that. So jump over to YouTube and check out how to spatchcock a turkey with Rectech. Um, I'll, we'll take you through step by step. It's really easy to do. You can use a pair of shears or a knife. It takes 10 seconds. Or you just ask your butcher to do it for you. They're more than happy to do that for you. Um, but you can fit a 22-pound spatchcocked uh, turkey on that RT340. And that's the best way to do it because you get the perfect balance of skin to smoke ratio to get that crispy skin all over the top and it's going to be delicious so good and that's with an r delicious delicious so chef greg they they heard you say earlier that you were cooking some sourdough bread they want to know did you cook that on the rec tech grill and when is the um video going to be available well you have to be a little patient on the videos okay because we're getting ahead for the holidays but you absolutely better believe that we cooked that on a Rectech. He's actually cooked it on the uh, RT590, and uh, it's proofing right over there in a bowl. And I could give you a sneak peek of that. Or what you gotta do is just join us on all social media. Make sure you follow us on stories and reels, and check out all that fantastic content we got coming at you. Because you'll see Chef John, Jody, and myself kind of behind the scenes action. And make sure you go ahead and follow us on all social media. I'm talking, uh, it's gonna be Chef, Chef John, and then you've got Barbecue Dad Jody, That's Chef right. Greg Muller on uh, Instagram and Facebook because we kind of post some behind the scenes stuff that maybe we can't show you on the rec tech page wink wink nudge nudge hint hint sign up for the newsletter chef John what you got uh, I got two quick questions Ooh. Nancy Butler asked what seasoning did you or what seasoning mix did you use today and Ray J asked any tips on cleaning the bullseye there you go so we use that Ross Aruski's honey rib rub on the top of that if you wanted to spice it up a little bit you could definitely use that Ron's screaming pig rub Maybe you got like some Asian flavors going on. You could use that Jody's Asian Persuasion. It'd be really, really, really delicious. Sure, if he's trying to get your attention there. Now, if you wanted to clean your bullseye, it's real simple. If you know you're doing a really fatty cook b before your next cook or after that real fatty cook, just go ahead and jack that grill up on riot mode. Let all of that stuff burn off. You're not going to do any damage. It is a stainless steel grill. Now, if you know you're going to do a, a low and slow, maybe a pork butt, a brisket, something really fatty, go ahead and put you an aluminum pan under that grate to kind of catch some of that grease. And that way it avoids getting in the bottom of the grill and less to burn off. So really simple. You can also, if you want to clean the barrel, you can use that Cameo cleaner. It's by Brillo. You can pick it up at your local uh, big box store. I want to say Target, Walmart, Amazon always has it. It's a good little metal polish to kind of clean everything up. But I think it's time that we give our, uh, our fatty another, another check. Yeah, buddy. Oh, man, we are mm, looking man, that looks so really good. good. But you know what, John? I think I think we got to put a little love on the top. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and take some of our favorite barbecue sauce. And this is going to be that Blues Hog Tennessee Mountain. I love that stuff. I can't and get enough of that Blues Hog. I'm going to put this on the top and let this kind of just drip over a little bit. It's okay. so good. I put it on my hot dogs, bologna sandwiches, cheese sandwiches. We gotta smoke some we've not smoked some bologna in a hot minute. Yeah. We need to do some delicious we uh, do. bologna burnettes. Because that right there was some good, good stuff. Oh, I don't. I said it was cloudy earlier. I lied. It's sunny out. <laughs> and I think it literally just got about 30 degrees hotter, and the side of my leg is in the sun. I literally think I got a sunburn. It's hot, yeah, man. It is. Like, it got hot quick. Chef John, what are they saying out there? They are love, love, loving it. Um, let's see here. They want to know what brand of instant thermometer you're using. All right, so proud supporters of the Rectech Academy. We've got the ThermoWorks Thermopen MK4. Um, it's probably the best instant read thermometer on the market. If you guys want to check out uh, all of their fun stuff, you know, follow us or make sure you join us here for Rectech Academy because you never know what we're giving away, maybe in the swag bag. Maybe it's uh, in giveaways, but the uh, we got six dates for RecTech Academy in 2021. Now, I hate to say it, January already sold out. Man, you already, Chef? Right. January sold out. But Good don't worry, Lord. we got five more dates. Don't sleep on it. They are filling up fast. If you guys want to learn the latest and greatest in competition barbecue, okay, we will have instructors here from all over the country. One of our instructors won a grand championship last week. Shout out to Jim and Jan Berg with That's Killer right. Beans Barbecue at the Rufus Teague Cook-Off Challenge. Uh, Jim had an amazing cook. He cooked on uh, two RT590s and one RT700. 
took a KCBS Grand Championship. He beat me. I was cooking against him. That's saying something right there. For sure. He did. A, he had a great cook. But Jim and Jan were instructors at our 2018 Academy. They'll be back in 2021. And uh, go ahead and hashtag pimento cheese for Chef for uh, Jan Berg because there's some good good pimento cheese out there. John, what you got, buddy? Bob Thayer asks, is there a coupon code for a discount at the Atlanta Barbecue Store? So we are working through some fun stuff with Atlanta Barbecue Store. They've been proud RecTech supporters, and they're kind of revamping their website and some of their products as well. So there will be a code coming out soon, but we're going to kind of hold off a little bit to see if we can't work out a better deal for you guys. But in the meantime, go ahead and check them out at atlantabarbecuestore.com. You can pick up some fantastic uh, competition-style injections, rubs, sauces, and glazes. And uh, Brian and his wife, Ellen, are amazing people. They cook on some rec techs on the competition circuit, and they're good friends of ours here. So definitely give them a, uh, a like and a follow. And he's got a great podcast on every um, Monday night, Chewing the Barbecue Fat. So if you guys want to check out some great pitmasters, and some of which will be here at Rec Tech Academy, make sure you give them a, a good follow. So, Chef Greg, Gilbert likes, would like to know, what's the rest time like on a fatty? Well, normally you'd let it go about four minutes, five minutes, but you want it to be still hot enough when you cut it that that cheese and stuff kind of gives you that uh, that wow factor. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this bad boy off. Come on in here, Sherp. Woo. Ooh, Look at that. Nelly, that looks so good. Like my little baby right there. Man. Chef John, you know what? What? This ain't no game. This ain't. Everybody else is playing for second. Everybody else is playing for second. Game, set, match. That's the way you live the RecTech lifestyle. That's, what I, that's how I, I live mean, it. It's all about delicious, amazing flavors. I mean, but how simple was this? Like, this was literally oh, man, that looks just so a couple good, of ingredients. Chef, we threw this together in no time. But you want to let this rest for a little bit. Right. And what I mean a little bit, I mean like right now. <laughs> you ready for that slow mo? Roll. Chef Greg, tell us where we could find this barbecue sauce that right. you used. If you guys want to find this barbecue sauce, okay, follow Blues Hog on all social media. This is their Tennessee Mountain. And it delicious is delicious so stuff. So good, guys. Uh, but first, make sure before you slice into this, your knives are good and sharp, okay? Just. That's right. And make That's sure right. maybe you have some bread to put this <laughs> on, because this is the way I like to eat mine is on a little bit of a roll. Okay, I'm sorry. We'll cut it. We'll cut it. <laughs> All right, but first, you want to make sure you cook this to 155 degrees internal. <laughs> that sausage is going to be delicious. That cheese is going to be melted. I can't slice into this until you guys smash that share button. I'm sorry. we got to have a little bit of rules and a little bit of uh, anticipation for this, right? You're tired of looking at me. Just look at this. It's delicious. All right, Man, to recap, we cooked this using the <laughs> ultimate blend pellets. That's the perfect balance of red oak, white oak, and hickory. Are you getting tired of this yet? Are they? I love it. No, they're loving it. They're right. loving it, Chef. All right, ready? Let's just go into. Ooh, I'm excited. Oh, man. See, that's what oh, you want. The drip, man. drip, judge, oh, judge. Oh, man. Look, sharp, look at that. That's what you want. That right there drives Matt Acosta nuts. Yeah. If there's one thing in this world that drives Matt Acosta nuts, it's that. <laughs> so, Chef John, come on in here. All right, I'm coming. Because I'm going to make you a sandwich. Man, that looks so good. I'm excited. So we're going to grab a slice of this. And that's for Chef John. Woo! But look at that. You got the oh, cheese. Oh, man. You got the delicious cold cuts. You killed it, Chef Greg. And then I knew you were going to do it. Yeah, I, I, you, know, you know I had to. Just a little, you know, a little bit of sauce never hurt anything, right? You want you want to top me off too? Yeah, for sure, my friend. Yes. So this is the way I like to eat my barbecue fatties. Oh, you're gonna okay? I'm just saying, just you know. I mean, you do <laughs> take it to the top floor. Grill big or go home. That's it. So we've got these delicious barbecue fatties. Oh my! Cheers to you, my friend. Mm. Oh man. Woo. Mm. Oh, bro. Sweet black baby Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. Raise the roof. Man, that's a good. That's stupid. We kill it. Absolutely. That's stupid taste. Yeah, I don't know what you guys are eating for lunch, but Chef Greg has made some delicious fatties today right here on the Rec Tech deck. Mm. Man, we're living our best life here at Rec Tech. Best life. 
I mean, it's how you want to live the rectangle lifestyle. It's what it's all about. Mmm. Mm. Man. All right, let me slice the rest of this. Good lord. Chef Greg, you really outdid yourself. I mean, I figured we needed something good for lunch today. You really hooked it up, my man. You can see that delicious spiral of meat, cheese, sausage, that bacon. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Go ahead. Chef Greg, don't forget to let him know this Friday we will be having movie night at Rec Tech Worldwide Headquarters here in beautiful Evans, Georgia. Gates open at 6.30. I think we're playing Frozen 2. Frozen 2. Yeah, yep. and it's going to be 10 bucks a car. Bring the whole family. You got food trucks coming. Yeah. Now, the food trucks are not free, but they're going to got some delicious variety there. There's going to be some sweet, some delicious. Sure, but you know, there's that right there mm. is where it's at. Mm. Um, but check us out, Rec Tech Movie Night. It's going to be every Friday, and uh, we're showing some fantastic movies. It's fun for the whole family. You might have seen pictures on uh, Instagram last week when we were showing The Incredibles 2. That Rec Tech Playground was finished. Uh, there were so many kids playing on it. It was so much fun. And uh, I look forward to seeing each and every one of you here at 4301 Evans Deluxe Road. Gates open at 6. Movie starts at 7.30. The showroom is open. So bring your family here. It's a lot of fun. Uh, we can definitely social distance in the parking lot. You'll get two parking spaces uh, with a paid admission per vehicle. And that way you can kind of park the car behind you and have a whole parking spot in front of you to enjoy that movie. So there is definitely not a bad seat in the house. So make sure you guys follow us on all social media. And we got a busy, busy, busy week here at RecTech. Um, today is lunch break presented by RecTech. We definitely appreciate you guys joining us on Facebook. Tomorrow, we got After Hours, where Chef John, Jody, and myself go ridiculous at 5 o'clock. That's going to be on Facebook as well. Thursday, we've got lunch break presented by RecTech, and that's going to be on YouTube. So make sure you guys sub subscribe and smash that bell over there so you guys get the latest and greatest. Jody's got this Thursday. He's doing something crazy. And then we've got Product Spotlight at 4 o'clock on Facebook. Chef John's doing that late night munchy thing at about mm -hmm. 11 o'clock on Instagram. And if you want to see those delicious churros that he did last week, make sure you guys check out IGTV and Chef John going crazy with that. Friday, you got to end that week with Fun Day Friday. It's a lot of fun opportunities to win stuff. We spin that wheel of rec tech. You never know. You can win yourself an RT700 to 590 340. Maybe we'll spin it again for an Academy ticket. You never know. you got to watch it to find out. Oh, and yeah. And if you want to start that week off right, make sure you guys join us here for um, Backyard and Beyond. Chef John on Facebook at 4 o'clock has a lot of fun. And we kind of start all over again. We That's come back how we here do Tuesday. it. That's how we do we it, Chef Craig. It's just the way we're, we, you know, every day is a holiday around here. <laughs> but from all of us here at the Rec Tech World, wide headquarters we love you we're thinking about you academy dates right now we got five more available they're gonna sell out don't say i didn't told you so make sure you sign up the newsletter go to rectech.com r-e-c-t-e-q.com scroll all the way to the bottom sign up to be an insider make you a barbecue fatty yeah god bless you god bless the united states and we will see you at the rec tech. Do, hey Sharon, do, do, we appreciate it, no problem. Do, do, Todd, do, it looks good. Do, John Bartles, do, do, Instagram. Rec you tech watch it. lifestyle. Our there. Set it. Kirk, we appreciate you joining in. When the sun starts Brad going Patterson, down. You better believe we're going to eat all this. Live your life the way you like. Eddie Eagle. It's a rec hey man, tech I'll get your question lifestyle. Later. I'll go back. Ray do, J, do, do, we, we work hard around do, here, okay? Do, we sweat it off. It's hot, but you better believe we're going to eat all that. Rec tech Mike Shad, we appreciate you joining in. Tony, good seeing you. Michael, appreciate you joining in. Chris Lafferty, go back to work, buddy. Make you 